Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to jump as high as you want in Photoshop. Theme tune. Do 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 do. It's me jumping as high as I possibly can. It doesn't seem very high. Okay, so Photoshop is massively powerful and allows us to do things on the screen that we can't do in reality. Things like breaking the laws of gravity and that's what we're going to do today. Some photo manipulations using selections, all sorts of content aware things to change an image to make something amazing. Now you can get this project file to practice along with if you have my Photos in Color Photoshop training course. You can head over to the Photos in Color by clicking the link below. Also like this video if you want to. So let's jump into Photoshop. Here we go. We're using this photograph today of Rosie. I've used it in another image, in another tutorial before, but essentially we're gonna be doing some fun things with this. So the first thing I want to do is make a selection of Rosie. Now there's lots of ways of doing this, but today I'm gonna to be using the quick selection tool. I'm literally gonna select over her like this, multiple times, I'm gonna click over here, make sure I've got her arm and her foot. We're gonna hit Q to see how good the selection is. It's okay, but not perfect. So let's just zoom in. I'm hitting Command Plus to zoom in. Okay, this is starting to look really nice. Select this section, selecting the finger down here and the rest of the hair. It's pretty good, I think, hit Q. Like it, now we're gonna go magic wand. Um, Photoshopicus is what I said the other day for this. Okay, and we're going to remove some elements from this, the blue just here and here on the outside and just in here too and in here. So let's quickly, quick look. It's looking good, I've missed some sections here so I'm just gonna use the lasso tool to pop that in just by hand. No need to be too precise for what we're doing today. Great, that looks really quite awesome actually. Uh, missed a bit of a face actually up here. Let's have a quick look. Yep, and a hair. Okay, that's looking good to me. We're gonna hit refine edge, smart radius on this, and we're just gonna ask it to find the edge of a hair. There we go. It's just gonna put in a few bits of those hair in there, and then we'll smart radius the hand, the nails, and the hand down here too. Does a really good job to smart radius. I have tutorials on this. Okay. Looking really good on there. Output as selection. We're just gonna hit OK. And then we're gonna turn this into a layer mask. There we go, so let's zoom out. Now we have got rid of Rosie, which looks fantastic. But now we've lost the background. So if I hit Shift and then the layer mask, it puts the layer mask back in there and we actually want her there. So we'll keep the layer mask. We're gonna go Command J so it re duplicates this, hide the top layer, and then we're gonna shift click and get rid of that. So now we can see two different layers of this. But if I was to move her up here, using V for the move tool, what I can see is that she's still on the layer below. And what I want to do is I only want to have one of her, but we wanna make her jump even higher than she already is. So let's hide this one, and let's figure out how to get rid of her. Now there's actually loads of ways that we can do this and I'm gonna quickly walk you through all of them or a lot of them anyway. So there's the clone stamp here. It's by selecting the clone stamp and I have tutorials on these, you just have to hit option and then click where you want to sample from and then essentially you just paint over where you want. So it's moved this area on top of this area. And that's it. Look how easy that was done. Okay, I'm gonna command shift, I'm gonna just go backwards on all of that. I'm actually gonna duplicate this layer again because I want to be able to have a version at the bottom by command J, so we've got another one just there. So 
That was using the clone stamp tool, essentially moving this from here to here. Now there's lots of the options there, but I have a tutorial on that. Now another great way of doing this is using this spot healing brush tool. And all you need to do for this is literally paint over her like so. Oh, and I've got the layer above selected. But you can see what, the, what that has done is it's got rid of her on that layer. So let's go before and after. And all I did was paint onto her. Now, it hasn't done a perfect job. You can actually see some artifacts in there. So it's not always the best way to go, but it's a pretty good way to go. So let's just put her back in. And then the next one is holy healing brush tool where you make the selection. So I'll select next to her and now I'm going to paint her in. Now the important thing, don't lift up your brush until you've painted her out completely. Okay? Photoshop needs to know that you want to get rid of her completely. And again, that's done an amazing job. So that's another great way of getting rid of her. Let's show you another way. The next way here is patch tool. Don't think this does a very good job actually. I'm not in love with it. I think it's got better uses. Essentially you make a section around it, you drag off to what you want to be moved. So I want this area to be moved over here. Now it's going to analyze and you see it's done a, again a pretty good job of moving her but you always get lines with that and I don't like that. Now you can change that by add feathering and all sorts of things but we're not going to use that one today either. The final one I'm going to show you is we're going to do a lasso tool around Rosie like so and then we're going to go image sorry edit fill and inside fill we have something called content aware and you're just going to select that make sure it's set to normal mode and then you hit ok and it's going to analyze the image find other elements and it's going to put it on top so let's deselect and you can see that's done a really fantastic job so let's leave it at that one for today we're going to take the clone stamp though option click and I'm going to put on 50 40 percent opacity and essentially I'm just going to paint over that a little tiny bit just to smooth off any artifacts. Great. So now we have very quickly, we've created a layer background, layer with nothing and a layer with Rosie. So I want to make this really, really big. So to do that, we're going to use the crop tool here and essentially we're going to extend the crop all the way up here. So we're essentially adding this onto the canvas. So let's say that high is good. Hit return. And what it's going to do is it's going to just make that canvas bigger. Now, having the background layer selected, I'm now going to do something really awesome. I'm going to go edit content aware scale and literally watch this. I'm going to scale this up and can you see that what it's doing is it's analyzing the content and realizing let's not move the floor. Let's not move this log. We can move this tree and make it taller. We're just going to essentially add new pixels and stretch the sky out. Now, yeah, it doesn't look perfect, but I have gone to the absolute extreme here. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's good for now anyway. So, Command Zero reframes it so it fits in perfectly. Now let's bring Rosie back and look how small she looks now. And all I'm going to do is I'm on the Move tool, I've got her layer selected, and I'm going to move her all the way up here. Hit return and that's where she's placed. Now when I zoom out now, look how high she is. She's looking super high, which I love. Now, just to add a little bit of fun to this, I'm going to add a text layer by clicking on the T down here. It's going to give me a brand new layer as soon as I click on top of everything else. And I'm going to write even Isaac Newton can't, oh, can't hold me back. There we go. And this text here, select the move tool, going to move it down here. In fact, I'm going to now, by holding the shift key, I can now extend this up here. Like, oh, I just got bit by a mosquito. That's what that was. So um, I'm going to drop that just here, hit return, and I'm going to change the color of this by selecting the text, and I'm going to make it bright red. Really going to make this stand out. 
I like that. There we go. And that's it. So by playing around there, we've basically gone from option, click on the bottom layer, this down here, which is already a great image, to this, which is even Isaac Newton can't hold me back. That's a joke because Newton discovered gravity. So that there was a really fun project showing a few different elements of making a selection, using different layers, and then using content aware to get rid of things or extending things. It's an amazing program is Photoshop and you can do loads of things with it. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel because I've got loads of other tutorials coming in the future. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune. Do, 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 do.